Omega-3S, the emotional game changer for your brain. For most of my life, I'd always believed my brain was wired a certain way, and I just had to live with it. I thought that constant low-grade hum of anxiety was just a part of my personality. That feeling of not being able to truly focus, to sit with a single task without my mind being pulled in a dozen different directions, I thought that was just me, so I accepted it. I built my life around it with all sorts of coping mechanisms. But if I'm being honest, it felt like I was fighting a losing battle with my own mind every single day. Then I stumbled on something that completely reframed how I saw my own emotional world. It wasn't about a lack of willpower. It wasn't some deep flaw in my character. It was about inflammation. It was about nutrition. It was about one single essential nutrient that our brains are practically crying out for. And I learned that my struggles, the ones I was so sure were permanent, might not have to be. Let me paint you a picture of what life was like. Mornings would start with a jolt of cortisol, that sense of dread about the day before my feet even hit the floor. My to-do list felt less like a plan and more like a list of things I was probably going to fail at. At work, I'd sit down at my computer, totally determined to be productive, only to look up an hour later and see 20 open tabs with absolutely nothing meaningful done. My mind felt like a pinball machine, thoughts just ricocheting around, never settling. And it wasn't just about focus. It was this deep, underlying anxiety that colored every single part of my life. Going out with friends was exhausting, not because I don't like people, but because my brain was running this constant looping script of what-ifs and harsh self-criticism. I'd come home completely drained, with zero energy left for my hobbies, my relationships, or even just taking care of myself. I wasn't thriving. I was just surviving. I kept telling myself, this is normal. I'd look around at our stressed out world and just assume I was on the same chaotic ride as everyone else. I tried all the things you're supposed to do. I meditated, I exercised, I went to therapy. And look, those things did help. They took the edge off, but they never got to the root of the problem. It felt like I was constantly patching holes in a ship that was just fundamentally unseaworthy. The anxiety and the brain fog were always there, lurking just under the surface. The turning point didn't come from some big, inspiring moment. It came from quiet desperation. I was just so tired of feeling that way. I was tired of my own brain sabotaging my best efforts. So I started digging, but not into self-help books. This time, I went straight to biology. I got obsessed with this idea of the brain as a physical organ, an organ that, like any other part of your body, needs the right raw materials to work correctly. That's when I fell down the rabbit hole of brain inflammation. The idea that our modern lifestyle our stress, our terrible sleep, and especially our diet, could be creating a state of chronic, low-grade inflammation in the very organ that runs our thoughts and emotions. That was a lightning bolt for me. And right at the center of this whole conversation was one nutrient, omega-3 fatty acids. I learned that for most of human history, our diets had a pretty balanced ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids. But our modern processed diets have completely wrecked that balance. Some people are now eating asterisk 15 to 20 times asterisk more inflammatory omega-6s than anti-inflammatory omega-3s. My personality, it turned out, might actually be a nutritional deficiency. So what exactly are these things? Omega-3s are a family of essential fats. Essential means our bodies can't make them from scratch. We have to get them from our food. There are a few different kinds, but the two superstars for your brain are DHA, docosahexaenoic acid, and EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid, which you find mostly in fatty fish. Here's how they can be an emotional game changer on a deep cellular level. First, they literally build your brain. DHA is a major structural part of your brain cells. Think of it like using high quality bricks to build a house. DHA gets built into our brain cell membranes, keeping them fluid and flexible, which is absolutely critical for our neurons to send signals to each other efficiently. Without enough, brain function can slow down, leading to things like brain fog and trouble concentrating. Second, and this is the part that changed everything for me, they are incredibly anti-inflammatory. Chronic brain inflammation is being linked more and more to mood disorders like depression and anxiety. Omega-3S, and especially EPA, get to work reducing that inflammation. They can lower the inflammatory signals in the brain that can damage neurons and mess with our emotional balance. This isn't just a nice idea, it's a direct biological way to calm the brain. And third, they help manage our mood chemicals. 
omega-3s are involved in how we produce and use key neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, the very chemicals that control our mood, focus, and motivation. They help keep our mood stable and can even make us more resilient to stress. Basically, they help make sure your brain's internal pharmacy is stocked and working right. This isn't just my personal experience. The science on this is huge. Few nutrients have been studied as much as omega-3s. Let's look at some specifics. For depression, a ton of studies and major reviews support the antidepressant effects of omega-3s, especially supplements with at least 60% EPA at doses of 1, 2 grams per day. Research from 2023 and 2024 continues to show that EPA-dominant formulas are particularly effective for depression. It can even make standard antidepressant medications work better when taken together. For anxiety, while there's still more research to do, some studies suggest that omega-3s, and again, especially EPA, can help dial down symptoms of anxiety. One trial even found that supplementation significantly reduced anxiety in students who were facing a stressful exam. For ADHD, research has found that kids with ADHD often have lower blood levels of omega-3s. Supplementing can help improve their attention and ability to finish tasks, while also reducing hyperactivity and impulsivity. For overall brain health, even if you don't have a diagnosed condition, omega-3s are critical. They support memory, focus, and cognitive function. A higher intake is linked to a lower risk of age-related mental decline. Now, it is true that clinical trials have sometimes shown mixed results, which could be due to different dosages, EPA to DHA ratios, or the study participants' starting nutritional levels. It's not a one-size-fits-all magic pill, but it's an incredibly powerful tool. So I decided to go all in. I started being super intentional about my omega-3 intake. I brought fatty fish like salmon into my diet a few times a week and started taking a high quality supplement, making sure it had that high EPA ratio the research pointed to. The change wasn't like a light switch, but after a few weeks, I started to notice something shift, that constant frantic buzz of anxiety in my chest. It started to quiet down. It wasn't completely gone, but it was like someone had turned the volume from a roaring 10 down to a manageable two. The pinball machine in my head started to slow down. I could actually sit and read a book for an hour. I could write a report from start to finish without getting lost in a sea of distractions. The best way I can describe it is that my entire emotional floor was raised. The lows weren't nearly as low, and my ability to bounce back from a stressful day was night and day different. I felt more like myself, the calm, focused person I always knew was in there somewhere. It was a fundamental shift. For the first time, I felt like I wasn't fighting my brain, but actually working with it. I had finally given it the parts it needed to find its own balance. If any of my story is ringing a bell for you, here's how you can start. First, look at your diet. The absolute best sources of EPA and DHA are fatty, cold water fish. Think salmon, mackerel, sardines, and herring. The dietary guidelines for Americans recommend getting in at least 8 ounces of seafood a week. You can get a different kind of omega-3 called ALA from plants like walnuts, chia seeds, and flax seeds, but the body isn't very good at converting that into the powerhouse forms of EPA and DHA. Second, you might want to consider a supplement. This is often the most reliable way to get a solid therapeutic dose. Look for a brand that is transparent and tells you exactly how much EPA and DHA is in each serving. For general mood support, research suggests a dose between 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA per day. And most importantly, for those mood and anxiety benefits, find a formula that contains at least 60% EPA. As always, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor before starting any new supplement, especially if you're pregnant, have a bleeding disorder, or take any blood thinning medications. This whole journey has taught me that we have so much more control over our mental well-being than we think. Our brains aren't set in stone. We can actually change how they work by changing the fuel we give them. If this video opened your eyes to a new possibility for your own brain, please hit that subscribe button and maybe share it with someone who might be feeling the way I used to. And I really want to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let me know. Have you ever changed your diet and noticed a real difference in your mood or focus? Let's get this conversation going. My struggles with anxiety and focus weren't some deep personality flaw. They were largely a symptom of a biological imbalance. Learning about the power of omega-3s didn't just give me a tool, it gave me hope. It showed me that by working with our body's biology, we can fundamentally change our emotional reality.
It's a powerful, natural way to support your own mind, and it's backed by a mountain of science. You have the power to calm the storm. You just need the right building blocks.